Hello. Hi. How we doing? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. How is everyone doing today? It is currently quarter to 10. I like I don't know where my day has gone. Well, actually no, I do. I do. I um spent most of my day watching America's Next Top Model. You wanna be on top? Don't ask. Don't, don't even ask. Well, guys, let's do this. Episode five, no time left. Previously on Susie Cries on the Walking Dead. Don't forget to share the stream, my ladies. Longest loading screen ever. Previously on The Walking Dead. That was way behind. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Clementine. I can feel my rage meter going up in this episode. I mean, if he hurts Clementine, I will kill a bitch. I will stab a bitch. So, and yes, I will be playing season two and I will also be playing the DLC as well. So I'm gonna be doing the DLC once we finish season one. Cause I heard that it's in between season one and season two. So that makes sense, I guess. Vernon. Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words. You're fucking dead! <laughs> I, I forgot who I you are, that. but I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. If he knows I'm gonna kill him, why did he take Clementine? Fuck. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. I can't believe it! How's that feeling? Ugh. Not great? Not great. My hand is hot, and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. Why didn't you shut the door? Close the door! We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Okay. 
I feel quite sick. Like, honestly, I feel sick in this episode because I just... After everything... I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. After everything we've gone through, like, if anything happens to these characters, I'm just... I don't think my heart can take it. What is that? Looks like a car jack. I wonder how would match this being used on a body. Why would that get used on a body? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we're looking for a way Just some out? surgical supplies. God, I'm feeling so emotional today. I'm like total emo. I just wanna see, there's a door there, but I can't do anything. Um... Hey, I think I found a way out. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. But how the heck are we gonna squeeze through there? I don't think we're gonna fit through there somehow. trying to save him at the very least buy him some time do we have to cut it off though do we know it works we don't know anything is there gonna be a lot of blood there's gonna be a shitload of blood what if he dies then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah damn right let's do this if there's a chance it stops you from turning we have to take it hey Laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss, well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? So wait, if I cut it off, what they're trying to say is maybe it's not in my blood circulation yet? I'd rather take the risk than Fuck it. never know. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. Ah, I don't want to say this now. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Okay. It'll be over before we know it. Ugh. It'll be over before you know it. Just gotta get through. But that's my watch hand. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Wait, is Chris... Fine. Is Chris still gonna do it? She's fucking badass. I'll go as fast as I can. Hold on to your... dinner! If I don't live through this, I need you to know you... <laughs> Try to stay still! <laughs> I know! I just had my dinner! Did 
They could have moved it. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. My arm is on fire. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. They're gonna smell the blood. This arm is on fire. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. No, you should go first. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. My heart hurts like oh. This is horrible and we've just started. You okay down there? Remember, quiet. It's no big deal. I just lost an arm. Another arm would just get in the way. God, what the fuck? It's, I shouldn't have done that. good I don't I I couldn't do that like I don't know how she did that I just I don't know what is this building because there seems to be a lot of zombies in this area It's a hospital. All right, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Okay, so Molly used to... I got a trophy. Molly used to ring the bells. But there's no way we could get across to that. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. Mm -hmm. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. Wait, why did he say, I don't want you to go sooner than you have to? Like, 
I just chopped off Lee's arm. He's not going anywhere. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Okay. So he wants to get across to the bell, but there's no way I can do it. Uh huh. Okay, I just want to see if I can speak to. Hey, Ben. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. There's no way. There's too many on the street. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. I'll make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. I including me? Getting bitten's not that bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. But try not to worry about it. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. But you still have to get over there. Wait, why does it have to be Lee that goes? What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. Need to get off this roof. Okay. Uh, so Kenny, yeah, let's see what Kenny's got to say before we pick up the ladder. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. God. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... Uh, it's taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's uh, just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Can't. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Okay, so... Let's get this ladder. No! I know it wasn't a popular decision... Uh, in the last episode with a lot of you to keep Ben alive, but... It's not in my nature to have him gone. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. I probably should have some help with that. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? Not exactly funny, Lee. So we're agreed then. God. This episode hurts. Why the hell are we letting the one arm guy do all the high risk maneuvers? Because the one arm guy insists. Now shut up about it. 
That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thanks, Kenny. There's no way that that's gonna hold. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Uh, hey, what's this? coming this way tons of them jesus now get back here how help i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far it's not that far, just a little hop. Thank you so much to Brian for... What are you waiting I'm for? I'm saying thank you, Kenny. Thank you so much to Brian for the five just pound jump. stream tip. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Jeez Louise. Is you ready to catch me? Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. My god. All right. Yeah, that was close. That was really close. Hey, Nacho. I can't believe no one went to grab him at all. Holy. Oh my god, the fucking what the fuck. Come on, just come the fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys. Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than so? we So? No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us. Yeah, but they don't have Clementine, so where is she? We're so fucked. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. God. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. That, I would not be talking to Kenny like that if I was him. 
We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Uh, get to the countryside, I guess. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Fuck! That's really sad. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! <laughs> get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Weapons? Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omi! What is it? Fuck the door! Front doors! No! Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Get off. Yeah. Nice nails, dude. Please help! Cut their fucking arms off. There's gotta be a knife or something in there. Why was the front door wide open? Hurry! Oh god. Uh, top top drawer. Perfect. <laughs> Just what you need. Take their goddamn arms off. Damn it! Close the door. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> That's Bree! Look, it's Bree! Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! How did she get all the way back here? Oh, fuck. Guys, help me with this! I've only got one arm, I'm trying! Oh, are you kidding me? I have to do this like three times or something. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. We're trying to push this and why is no one helping? What do we do now? This will slow them down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We're trapped, do you? Oh my god. We can't let ourselves get trapped. We'll just get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. I suggest we leave one for ourselves. Oh my god. How do we know who's gonna fire though? Do we take it in shifts? Shit, everyone fire! Oh man, oh man, oh man! I'm out! I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn- Go out the window! 
Go! Any time, Krista, any fucking time. Ah, oh, shit. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bit. Wow. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. Lee! <gasps> Clementine! I'm okay. I'm really parents. Oh, no. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Aw, oh, come on. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation. What? Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Clean! Help! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not like Someone could help me here, surely. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Oh, Chris, thank you so much for the two pounds of 41. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Uh, I've worked so hard to build a relationship with Lee and Kenny, and I do not want to see it fall apart. Cause I, I'm 
glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. <laughs> if you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey. And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in there bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So you get this guy. What do you think? I'm gonna kick his fucking ass. You make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Rose got enough evil in it. And you know, whatever happens to you. Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Um. Oh, I would like them to look after her, I guess, but I don't think Lee's gonna I'll die. Need though. You guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. I'm not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him, though, right? Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Surely that wouldn't take that Shouldn't long. long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. <sighs> That, uh, feeling any better? Uh, it feels recently chopped. Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just, fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. <laughs> how are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. He's fine, okay? Chill. I know you want to get out of here. Omid's making good progress. I'm fine. I miss my family. That's all. Appreciate you asking, though. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who I should say was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. <laughs> no, he did not. We did, though. 
sorry for hurting you in any way, Kay. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take a swig. I feel like she should take a drink too. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm through. Nice. No walkers. Things are looking up. I just, I have, like, literally no... Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. I got no clue how this episode is gonna go. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. I think that's the first time I've heard Kenny be positive since uh, episode three. We're not going out this window. Okay, so let's have a look around. That makes me really sad because, like, that reminds me of like me and Stejo. But I like to think that we'd kind of fight it out till the bitter end. In fact, I know we would. House is full too. Stay quiet. Okay. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. All right, let's see what Kenny's got to say. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Ignore me, why don't you? Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. I can't even imagine this happening in real life. It'd be crazy. Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. You're doing a good job. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> Fair enough. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. It's the last moment, I guess. Oh, God. That. Nothing other than personal Help! items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. A massive thank you to old Sea Dog 91 for the seven pound sixty seven. Love watching you play. Thanks for sharing your emotions with us. Thank you so much for the stream tip. It's actually quite difficult to share like your proper emotions online, especially when I 
I cried so hard with The Walking Dead uh, episode 3. So yeah, thank you so much. He should not have gone first. I guess it's alright. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? No, 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 Kenny! What the f- Uh, right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm Kenny going, I'm going, I'm going. This. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Oh. I'm okay! Shh, keep it down, for fuck's sake! I'm okay, just get me out of here. Shh, quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. We can just yeah, carry him. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Come on! <gasps> oh. Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! oh my God, we can pull him up. We can pull him up. He's quiet. We can take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Oh, there is no time. Oh. Fuck. Oh god, don't let them get to me. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny. This is not a discussion. Don't you fucking dare! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! No, just leave Ben! Oh. What the fuck, Kenny? Lee, Lee, it's okay. You can't do this! No, kid! No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. He's just gonna die for no fucking reason! Get that girl! Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Yeah. God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! point in that whatsoever what happened Couldn't do anything. 
Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him, and it was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. But he could have killed him and then come with us. I don't, that's so pointless. It doesn't make any sense. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe you did get away. I don't know. Most pointless death. We should go. <laughs> right behind you. I literally don't even, like, care anymore. Kenny's, like, was my favorite character. So it's like, they've just taken away my favorite character for no Do you reason. Want to talk? <laughs> Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I just saw your friends get killed. I mean, four back in the attic it's nothing what's nothing let's just keep moving what is she hiding i know they're hiding something i've been kind of wondering for like quite a little bit actually like omid is like really i wonder if i can see anything Omid is really overprotective of Krista, and I don't know if that's just because they're boyfriend and girlfriend or what, but I don't know, they seem really overprotective. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Yeah. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Yeah, see, I was thinking that Krista was pregnant as well because, like, she was feeling sick quite a lot. over like really silly things and then he was totally overprotective. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> Not much. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. You're walking for two? So she is pregnant. Go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. My heart hurts so much.
Just go nice and I'm slow. going slow. Please don't. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. I mean, if we can do it with one hand, then they can do- Oh shit! Shit! Oh fuck! Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Are we go we're going down into the zombies. Holy shit. He's fucked. He's abs- I can't take this. Are you kidding me? Like, there's no way. How did, why did he take Clementine there anyway? That stupid idiot. Fuck, I don't know what to do, who to go for. Oh my god, I can already feel the waterworks coming on. It's horrible! first place guys we are so close to 100 likes on the finale can we do it we just got a trophy for that the marsh house really quiet in the marsh house right it's way too quiet. Fine. Listen. Why this room? Like, why did... How did he know to come in this room? Why is there a rope there? Oh my god. He's got something locked in the cupboard. Thank you so much for a hundred likes, guys! What's... Why is there a rope on... Hi! I got us adjoining rooms. He's got a gun, so I'm gonna play it cool. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. 
quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Uh. This is all I've got, okay? I'm not putting my axe down. No way. You travel light. I don't believe you. What are you gonna do? Kill me? Ha <laughs> ha we'll see. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Okay, I still have my weapon on me. Do you know who I am? I have no idea who this guy is. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? Because it wasn't the right thing to do. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? How is it any of this guy's business? I don't understand. In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Cancelled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. But why take Clementine? Like, it's not my fault. Now fuck you. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? You do now. Yes, you do. Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. 
I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. How the fuck does he know that? I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. How does he know all this? You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. That's not the whole story. The whole story? Why the fuck do you care? It's none of your business. How could you know all this? So she told him. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Yeah, well, I didn't do it. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. It's not my fault that she didn't tell me when her birthday is. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. Did I... Be sarcastic with him? No. You're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What? What are you... I'm glad to. <gasps> I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's. Don't shoot sweet. Clementine! She wouldn't hurt a fly. Good girl. Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck! Come on! Fuck, fuck! I am gonna kill you, you fucker. Come on! Fucking die! Ow, my wrist is getting sore! Just die! What the fuck? smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, 
It's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Good little shot, Clem. Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. God. What is in this bag? I know. So he kept his wife or so yeah, it's his wife. He kept her head in the bag. What? Yeah, let's look at the stranger and see what it says. If he didn't take Clementine, Lee wouldn't be bitten. Kenny wouldn't be fucking dead. It's like... Which way out? Through there. All right, let's go. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think so. Savannah. Oh, like in the actual series. We're gonna have to put his guts like all over us. Oh, no. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Clementine, it's gonna be bad. Sorry, Clementine, I gotta do this. Oh, her pretty dress is ruined. Are you done? A little more. I wanna be sure. You have to like stick it on her face and everything. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Can we just, like, sort Stay this right out now? You walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. Oh shit, I actually have to control it. Fuck. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Ah! 
Gonna stand still and let that one zombie go past. you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I literally have no words at this precise time. I don't I even want to watch. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Come on, please get up. <sighs> You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Like the thought of fucking Clementine being by herself is so upsetting. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. 
God, I still have to somehow play. I, I cannot see, like from the tears <laughs> in my eyes. I can't even see. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. What is there then? A baseball bat, that'll do There's it. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out. I know it is. I know. Grab the chair, Clint. Use it to reach in to the lock. Thank you so much for the stream tip, archery. Some makeup. Right. Then, open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Wait, so I can handcuff the zombie, or I can handcuff Lee. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna handcuff Lee. You have to handcuff the walker. You can kill it easy then. I don't know, Lee. You can do it. Just be careful. Move around the side and jump away if he gets close. Lee. You can do it. I don't like this. Snatch the key. I'll get them both, actually. So close. Just get them both. I'll try. <gasps> oh my actual fuck! Get him! Get him! Grab it! Watch out! Oh my god, <laughs> there's nothing he can do! Come on, Clementine! Stop, but it's okay. 
my parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Oh. holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. I think that's like the saddest ending to a game I've ever witnessed. I can't even read. Okay. So 62% removed the arm. 65% lost temper with Kenny. I think I missed the stream tip then. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you for the five pound from Griff. All the feels. Um... 80% of players kept your weapons, 65% didn't kill the stranger, and 60 I didn't even realize I had a choice to do that, but okay. And 60% of players made sure that Lee didn't turn. I even get, like, my words out. Okay. Ben fell to his death. She was killed by Lily. So, basically, well, Lily could still be alive, essentially. 
Um. Oh my god, I love this song. I have to turn it down though. Oh my god. This song will fucking make me cry again. That is so sad. I have to sit here through it because apparently there's a cutscene after the credits, so. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like that hurts. Like, I don't connect with characters that much, but it's like. That was so emotional. <laughs> I used to sing this song all the time. I can't even remember where I found it. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us back. Ready for season two? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> He started in handcuffs and ended in handcuffs. No, he's gone. He's very much gone. It's like such a sad song. I feel like I can't even, like, sing this song. I can't even listen to it. Has gone. I was, I was just punched in the stomach. Okay, we're getting to the end of the credits. So is that zombies or? That's weird. What? That's the end. What? 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 There's nothing to hear there except the wind. There's literally nothing to hear there. She doesn't say anything. There was supposed to be like no sound there. Um. I don't know what to say, like, I literally, 
I don't know what to say. Um, thank you guys <laughs> for hanging out with me um, on this adventure. I do have season two. I downloaded it this morning. Um, so I will start season two tomorrow. We'll do episode one of season two tomorrow. Um, I was thinking about doing the DLC, but I would maybe just like to go straight into season two. Ah, I look so shitty. I cried so hard. Like my nose has gone red. And uh, yeah. So thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Um, I'm waiting for Batman episode two to drop tonight. And I will be back with another stream tonight. We're going to do the new Batman from Telltale. Uh, so that's going to be good. And tomorrow we will be back with... Um, the Walking Dead season two. So if you did enjoy this stream, like I'd appreciate the likes. The likes are always loved and welcome. Welcome all new subscribers to the channel. I stream every single day unless stated otherwise on Twitter. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. It's been an emotional roller coaster, but it isn't over till it's over. And I will see you guys tomorrow.